How's it going guys? This is Brad and John with Best Price Nutrition and today we're going to try a couple of samples from Crow Nutrition, which is a really new brand. Um, I think you were the one who found them first, right? Yeah, you know, it's, uh, I somehow stumbled upon these guys on Instagram. I think I dropped a comment. Uh, the owner was really good, you know, in terms of communication and, and chatting with me about it, talking about it. And what was kind of interesting, it was kind of right in the midst of lockdown that these guys were going to roll out. Yeah. And yeah. I think it really kind of delayed things. But uh, yeah, I was kind of anxiously waiting for them to come out. Uh, wound up trying some samples and uh, thought this was really cool just because it fills kind of a, a niche that we don't really see. Yeah. You know what actually turned me on to this? I was watching the crazy uh, snake juice guy on YouTube. Yeah. You see him? Yeah. Um, and I kind of got me interested in fasting supplements and things like that and wound up stumbling upon this one. Yeah. And <clears throat> Daniel, I might give his last name, but Daniel is the owner. Super cool guy. Um, I think his company's really going to start blowing up. I'm glad that we got into it when we did. Um, the label is really, really good. So if you're not really into nootropics or any like the brain health stuff, I'll go over some of the ingredients that you might not really know about. Um, but there's a good dose of everything in here. And on the pack, it even says, you know, you might want to do a half pack at first because these are actually pretty strong. You know, that's actually something good to, uh, to point out. So when I initially got these, I'm just thinking like pre-workout pack, mix it with 68 yeah. ounces of the water and drink it. And I forget if I did that or caught myself, but once I actually read the label, it says mixed with a full <laughs> yeah. shaker of water, hence these full shakers of water. Yeah, and it's if you if you do like, there's no actual like ounces on there, but to do, but you want to do a full thing because it is a pretty strong flavor. We need a couple cups. I think that's one of the other kind of neat things about this. If if you wanted. Because this has, what, 400 milligrams of caffeine plus some uh, nootropics. So if you wanted to, to just chug this as a pre-workout, you could do that, but. Uh, it, my my intention in the way that I've used it is doing the full shaker and just sipping it throughout the whole day. Yeah, because I mean, it, you could do a pre workout just for like the rush of it, but there's there's really no um, like ergogenic workout stuff in there. It's purely for depending how you want to look at a fast. This probably will break like a very strict fast, but if you're just trying to not do calories, this is something good to take to give you a little boost. Um, so alpha GPC. Uh, that's a really good form of choline, basically. It's a really strong form of choline. It's usually pretty expensive, so the fact that it's in here at 600 milligrams is pretty nice. It's a good, strong dose. There's some magnesium. There's 250 milligrams of caffeine anhydrous, which is pretty, it's a pretty good dose. That's, more, that's a little bit less than a bang. Um, and then there's 150 milligrams of Infinergy, which is dicaffeine malate, which is a less intense form of caffeine, but it lasts longer. And the reason that I think they put this in there is so that when you get the rush from the caffeine, you don't get a crash later. You get like that long lasting, mild Infinergy, so you don't really uh, get too much of a crash. 150 milligrams of L-theanine, which works very synergistically with caffeine and kind of turns raw, jittery energy into smooth focus. There's grapeseed extract, which can, there's a lot of things that it does, but I think it's in here because there's some studies showing that it could help with brain health as you age. Potassium. Uh, L selenomethionine, which is like a the natural form of selenium and methionine, which are two amino acids that you find in foods, and then cooperzine A. Cooperzine A stop is a acetylcholine esterase inhibitor, and what that means is you have acetylcholine in your brain, and that is like the main neurotransmitter, which kind of like helps you think. Um, there's an enzyme called acetylcholine esterase, which breaks that down. And then you have l huperzine which is an acetylcholine esterase inhibitor, so it stops that enzyme that breaks down acetylcholine. So it kind of just like prolongs any acetylcholine you have, stops the breakdown of it. And then the two flavors that we have are Copperhead, which looks like it's orange and peach. And then we got the Southern Mountain Gospel, which I believe is going to be a blackberry black cherry. Yeah, yeah. Now, uh, let, let me ask you something. With uh, the fasting, I, I, I just tend not to eat. I don't necessarily do it intentionally. But yeah. uh, I normally don't eat breakfast, could go with or without lunch, and then I'll eat dinner. And I saw on the Crow Nutrition website they talk about no more drinking black coffee. And from the, the snake juice guy... If I'm having cream in my coffee in the morning, I'm essentially breaking my fast, right? Even though I'm yeah. not eating. So depending how hard into a fast you want to go, there's like different ways of doing it. If you're just trying to do it to kind of cut calories, that's one thing. If you want to do it for like the autophagy benefits, which is like getting rid of like your old cells that you don't use, if you, the theory is, I think it's kind of proven, I don't really know, but if you fast for a while, your body will start doing autophagy. So it takes like the cells that your body doesn't really use, 
will break them down and then reuse the cell parts in different parts of your body. So now is, is something like this going to break the fast or is this? For autophagy, yes. Basically anything that you consume that's not water, so coffee or tea, since there's other things in there that your body will have to elicit a response for, that kind of stops the whole fasting process. Okay. So literally anything but water, and some people will do water fast where they don't even drink water. <laughs> which is, I mean, people do it and it seems to be okay, like I wouldn't recommend anyone do that, but that's something that's out there, it's pretty crazy. Um, but yeah, anything that you consume, whether it has calories or elicits a response from your body, will break a like strict fast. Um, but I mean, people have different definitions of fast, so. You know what's funny? I, I'm just noticing here. These look identical in color. I know that's I'm why I did like an orange. And, uh, <laughs> I didn't. Uh, uh, purple. I don't know if want to hold it against the wall. I didn't put them next to each other because I didn't want them. Yeah. So I mean, there's probably. I wonder if there's any artificial flavors or dyes. There can't be any dyes. So there's natural and artificial flavor. Yeah, but there is no dyes in there. So this is just the color that it is. All right. Which one do you want to start with? Um, let's start, let's start okay. With so these are. So this is the mountain. Uh, Southern Mountain Gospel. So this is going to be the uh, blackberry, black cherry. That's great. Yeah. It's, it almost tastes like Kool-Aid. It literally is Kool-Aid. Yeah, it smells like it. And it doesn't have too much of that, really no bitter taste from the neutral No, mix, not at all. Nor that kind of powderiness that, that a lot mm -hmm. of... Uh, like, I, I love Skywalk, but Skywalk's definitely a lot chalkier than this. For sure. And I, I don't know... Because there's really nothing in here that would make it super bitter. I think Infinergy might, if anything, but everything else is a pretty non-bitter ingredient. This literally tastes like Kool-Aid that was made really well. Yeah. Like, not too sweet. It's sweet, but it's not like, you know. That's good. I like that one. Yeah, that's real good. And, it, and I couldn't remember whether I actually tried my, let's see, Copperhead or not. Mm -hmm. uh, so I did like this flavor. I can't, can't recall if I tried that one yet or not. I think you gave me a sample of this. I think I tried this one. That's that sounds good. I don't yeah. think I have tried this one. That's good too. I think we probably should have started with this one because that's like a stronger flavor. Yeah. But this is really good. This is good. It starts off orange and kind of finishes with the peach flavor. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely does. I need some more of that one. And, and as far as the effects, kind of how I how I've used this. Um, on weekends and Saturdays, I normally don't eat. I think a couple days I took this, I've been doing yard work outside. Yeah. And just fill a shaker with ice and some of this stuff, and pretty much from, you know, probably 10, 11 in the morning until the end of the day. Yeah. Just kind of sipped on it throughout the day. Had plenty of energy to get all my stuff done. Didn't get that, sometimes I feel crazy or get a hunger headache. Or yeah, yeah. Didn't have any of that, so. Yeah, I mean, and th this is a really good product. It's called IntraFast. Um, the thing says, fasting optimizer, pre-workout and energy drink. Perfect for fasters, athletes, and gamers. It's actually something I didn't think about. Uh, something that is kind of getting popular. I think we've both gotten emails from companies trying to have us carry them. There's like gaming supplements. And a lot of times it's going to be either like meal replacements or nootropic type stuff. And I think this actually would be awesome for a gaming supplement. Because um, you're not going to get a crash. It's not going to make you all tweaky and stuff. And I think actually in like a pro gaming community, if you're going to do an event, I don't think you could be on like Adderall. Or, really? Yeah, I think even if you have a prescription, you can't take this up because it's like a performance enhancer. So I think okay. if you were doing that, I don't know exactly what the rules are, but I think you could use something like this as a pretty good, you know, it's better than just drinking a Mountain Dew. It's kind of funny with the uh, the gaming uh, supplements, you know, started off with G Fuel and a lot of the gaming brands, but now we're seeing uh, what Insane Labs has a, a gaming supplement. Yeah. Blackstone came out with the, the crit recently. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, we're starting to see a lot more kind of sports nutrition brands get yeah. into the uh, the gaming space. Yeah, I mean, if there's, if there's a market for it, they will find products for it. Um, yeah, I, I like this stuff a lot. We, we're probably one of the first people to have this, I think. I don't think anyone else is selling this. Yeah, I think um, aside from Crow Nutrition themselves, I think we, we kind of, I think we kind of touched base with them before they even were, yeah. were, were for sale. And yeah. uh, it's been selling pretty good in the past, uh, just in the past week or two we've had it in here. Yeah, and we haven't really promoted it yet. People seem to have found it and just kind of latched onto it pretty quickly. Right now, this company has three total SKUs. So they've got this flavor, that flavor and then they have a product called sugar shuttle which is so you can kind of see like the mindset of this company you know they have fasting stuff 
GDAs, which are going to kind of help partition your carbohydrates and lower your blood sugar. He's kind of along the lines of fasting, maybe keto. I don't know what he does, but it's kind of in that line. Um, and sugar shuttle is going to basically, you'll take it before a meal and it's going to help utilize all of your nutrients, put them in your muscles, or just kind of help lower your blood sugar. So we have that as well. So he only has three SKUs, but I talked to him and he does have plans of releasing more stuff. And he does have some pretty cool, interesting, unique stuff coming out. So it's a good brand to follow. Um, I think we'll put their Instagram link up on the screen as well. Okay, so I'm excited to see what else uh, what else they roll out because everything I've, I've tried thus far, I've been a fan of. Yeah, and this is a kind of a brand that's more up my alley than a lot of sports nutrition stuff lately. I like the nootropic stuff, stuff with fasting, um, anything different really. Because there's a lot of sports nutrition stuff, so I think it's kind of getting watered down. So you know, new products like this are always exciting to me. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Both really good flavors. I would recommend either of them. Um, they're both really good. I think it's just kind of what you're in the mood for at that time. You know, completely unrelated, but uh, just before we hopped on this video, I saw, uh, speaking of interesting flavors, Axe and Sledge is bringing whiskey and cola to seventh gear tonight. Yeah, yeah. So that'll be an interesting one. We'll have to, uh, Get we, we still haven't done a video on, on that. I've still never tried that one. I think Jordan said it tastes like a sour gummy worm as opposed to uh, a Jack and Coke, but yeah, I've really been wanting to try that, so maybe we'll have to bring that, uh, or once yeah. you get seventh gear, maybe do a video for that one. Yeah, yeah, we'll definitely have to try that one. Um, yeah, all right, I think I'm good. You good? Sounds good. All right, thanks, Later, guys. guys.